Oh no, it's 4 p.m. I'm not sure if we'll be able to uh, get to Willis place. Oh my bad, please. Please, Lord. It's 4.20 p.m. And hello, everyone. Welcome back to Hello Farm. All right, we have a new rod for sale from Willy. That's awesome. Ah, I see. This is how we can use the tackle. I think this one, a fishing tackle and uh, a fishing up spinner these two all right that's good to know and look at this we completed one of the bundle and we were given uh winter seeds i think they are like just mixed seeds i'm not sure really what's the uh, what would it produce but it's gonna be uh, exciting and hey thank you are you cold man thank you is really doing a good job in protecting our farm uh, he's so happy thank you thank you uh, now you know where the name came from and hello chickens Oh, look at that we have a lot of them um, there's like eight of them for our little chickpeas so oh, i've named this one chickpea uh, reference from our world and uh this one is a uh, notice me because <laughs> i sometimes forget to you know say hi to our animal friends and this one is i'm yummy oh oh no no this is this is not good <laughs> can't fly oh why did i name these little cute now I feel so bad. No, it's fine. When they grow up, it would be, you know, less concerning for me, at least. <laughs> okay, enjoy your meal. And uh, let's head to our... Oh, well, we have some eggs here that we could convert into mayonnaise. There you go. So I've been saving up mayonnaise. If you can if you can see here, guys, uh, 32, that's like 6,000 gold. That's a lot. And we have 6 to 8, that's 18,000 gold. Awesome. So now I'm, I'm also thinking of upgrading our one of our tools two or three tools i'm thinking of upgrading our hoe hello hello guys upgrading the hoe while it's winter i think um yep oh, we need to upgrade the hoe and other uh, the scythe and also the watering can hey give me milk <laughs> ah they love it so much when we milk cows it will release relieve them from the pressure they're feeling that's why they're happy all right awesome now if you look at the uh upper left hand corner um oh, We've expanded our coop. Uh, now we need to expand the barn. That's why we need to cut some wood. We need to earn 12 coal, which we have. Uh, we need 450 wood and 200 stone. But since the spirits are not happy today, we'll just cut wood. And hopefully after expanding our barn, we could finally um, expand our house and then build a stable. So that we would have some basic uh, stuff in our house homestead and finally we can you know see if we could marry it's like just like in real life first establish a house get some transportation and get married <laughs> and also along the way uh we're just gonna have to keep crafting a crab pot and a topper i see if we could crop uh craft now oh well we need a copper but we could craft the loom turns raw wool into fine cloth i don't have a wool yet uh no sheep yet maybe if we expand the barn lightning rod collects energy from lightning rod okay maybe on a rainy season it's gonna be very useful it's gonna collect collect lighting wow it's gonna be cool right now if you look at the lower right hand corner um we have 20 percent stamina left and i have to say that i'm really thankful for you for you guys for you know um checking out my video spending your time to watch it even in your busy days i truly appreciate that because these videos take a very long time to make and it's also fun don't get me wrong however it takes commitment especially for a working dad of uh, to your old daughter so really means a lot to me if you hang out and if you're new here, uh, please feel free to like and subscribe. That would really mean a lot to me as well. And also, oh, we could get to hang out and enjoy our favorite games. I also did some uh, little poll in the community tab. If you could check it out, maybe later. Uh, I'm thinking of, oh, we have some mayonnaise here. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, a game that we could play alongside Stardew Valley. So there's some few games that it's in my Steam library that it's, I put it up there. So you could cast a vote if you wouldn't mind, if you can take some time. So we would know which game that I will be playing alongside Stardew Valley. Yeah. So from that run, we got 200 wood. Awesome. So it looks like we're going to be complete. Oh man, my bad. We have 500 wood here. <laughs> okay. Well, next time I'll be checking the inventory. 
before deciding what to do now oh the thing is we need stone we can mine for that and now oh uh, willy sent us a message that there's a new fishing rod let's go straight to willy's place oh can't wait and uh before we go let's just get this amethyst i think i have one for uh, yeah for abigail to make her feel better since i've given her an awful gift yesterday just to make up for it and oh uh, you know what let's just sell this because i'm thinking of expanding our also this blackberry jelly i'm thinking of expanding our bag okay mayonnaise going straight through our shipping bin and the jellies as well now let's head straight to willie and check out what kind of rod he has for us yeah. oh no it's 4 p.m i'm not sure if we'll be able to uh, get to willie's place oh my bad please please lord it's 4 20 p.m oh for great awesome thank you all right can't wait let's uh, check it out uh, we have a lead bobber okay adds weight to your fishing bar prevents it from bouncing along the bottom okay fiber glass oh we have this iridium rod oh it's seven oh man that's awesome it's seven thousand uh gold uh uh, uh uh too expensive that's fine it's a good investment right we can earn more gold with a fishing rod so it's gonna be perfect can we sell our old rod no we cannot okay thank you for the business willy i think you're gonna love this blackberry oh giving him too much gift yeah. okay let's test out this new rod to get the bait from our old rod and i think we are ready let's go oh no forgot um our stamina is almost out oh man that's fine i think we won't faint okay this rod looks stable it feels stable however um it looks like we have a challenging fish here and there you go uh, oh that's a tuna that's why it's 47 inches that's huge man hello willy your rod is so good now since we're here we'll just pick up some forageables all right that was fun <laughs> We almost fainted though. And now let's head straight to the saloon. Looks like Willy can't wait to have his pale ale. All right, everyone is lively because it's Friday. And I'm guessing also that uh, the gang is here. <laughs> Hello guys, Sebastian. I'm going to be giving this amethyst to Abigail. <laughs> I seriously love this. You're the best snacku. No, I'm not. I'm just, you know, trying to give you a bouquet. Let's do this in front of <laughs> Sebastian. Oh, she likes it so much. I'll accept this. Thank you. <laughs> Look at Sebastian. It's like, whoa, what happened there? Now we have two girlfriends. <laughs> oh, gonna, this is going to be a headache, right? <laughs> I think so. Awesome. So guys, enjoy your time. Now that we have two dates, uh, the deciding factor that who's going to who's gonna who's i will be marrying is i think uh which uh, woman needs me the most i think it will fall to that not who i need the most but who needs me the most all right Alia, you won't believe what i did but i won't say it to you <laughs> all right reach a uh, 10 heart with a front oh oh boy hold on okay i thought it's only eight of eight hearts all right we have 10 hearts this is awesome man do you ever get cold in that farm of yours? Yes, I kind of find uh feel lonely sometimes, especially it's winter. Stop by my cabin if you want to huddle under one of my cool and a uh, drink cider. <laughs> That's sweet of you, Leah. Yes, I would definitely be happy. Hunting fish or salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. <laughs> the weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay near my shop year round. <laughs> just practicing my voice over guys all right that is it for now let's uh, head straight it's 9 p.m oh let's just just check out our inventory let's see what we could uh oh let's just see the calendar first we've missed linus's birthday by the way i'm so bad at birthdays i sometimes even forget my birthday <laughs> carolyn's birthday is gonna be seventh and uh, let alone forget my age yeah irl that happens to me the funny thing is that if i try to remember my age i i just you know try to calculate it oh we found a book all right that's awesome and also we have this uh crocus and a uh, crystal fruit so calculating your age really never appeared to me until now i stopped uh counting my age long ago by the way makes me feel young <laughs> okay uh now hopefully tomorrow we'll have happy spirit so we could go to the mine we need copper and what a fun day today guys we got a new iridium rod 
but we could put a bait and also a tackler and uh, let me choose which um tackle we need to use uh i need i want to save more time when fishing this these trap bobber causes the fish to escape slower we also have a lead bobber adds weight to your fishing by preventing it from bouncing along the bottom it seems that they sound very useful, which they are, but I'm saving time. That's why I think I'm going to go ahead with a spinner to increase the bite rate. So I won't have to wait long before a fish bites, thus giving me more chances of catching a fish and, you know, more time to practice my fishing skills. And ultimately, uh, opens up more time for me in real life. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, so tomorrow, um, happy spirits or not we'll need to go and uh go to the mines we have no choice guys and uh, i always forget uh in our cave we have these mushrooms oh uh, it's 11 20 p.m oh i think we still have time uh, yeah i'll just head straight to the community center and check out something oh cool glad we did because we got our pine tar we got some forageables and also uh wormy i have a feeling that we will be fainting again <laughs> i have this bad feeling hey guys and yes finally we we're able to complete the field research bundle awesome and uh, our rewards gonna be a recycling machine not bad now let's run let's see if we could reach our home without fainting guys let's go oh no it's 1 a.m now oh geez you're almost there go oh yeah it's it's perfect we still have time time to even sell this crystal fruit and this crocus and even set up this uh recycling bar uh recycling machine mm -hmm. all right good night everybody oh that's huge we got twenty nine thousand for the mayonnaise Oh, we have 30,000 gold. This is so overwhelming, but it's good. Um, I don't know how to spend the money now. That's the problem if you're rich. <laughs> and now welcome to day six of winter, guys. And all right, guys, this is just awesome. Look at that. If you look at the upper right-hand corner, uh, we have 30,000 gold. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. Looks like we are on our way of upgrading our barn. Hello, thank you. And uh, although today the spirits are neutral, I'm planning to go mining because... Uh, we need to take advantage of the fact that we don't need to water our plants so we don't need to use the hose the watering can because we need to upgrade the hole at least hello guys oh they're big now haha <laughs> nice all right they look so lovely breakfast guys come here so we're gonna go after we tend their farm we're gonna go oh excuse me we're gonna go mining hello guys more milk please okay that is done buy beef steaks so oh, looks like we have an email or a mail <laughs> all right so uh this is mayor lulu is giving us advice to oh there's someone's to give someone's a mermaid's pendant i understand okay and uh Wooly oh, is giving us a cooking recipe. Awesome. It's important for the fish to be fresh. Okay. It's called chowder. Thank you, Mr. Wooly. And oh, one of these days, you should come to my room after dark. Maybe around 8 p.m. I want to show you something, Abby. Oh, Abby. <laughs> Abigail. All right. Sure, I'd be happy to hang out. should buy some popcorn and watch some movies with you. Okay, looks like Clint. Look at this, guys. Clint is asking for an amethyst, so... He can give this to Emily. All right. Well, why not, right? Unfortunately, we no longer have an amethyst. All right. Looking good in our farm. Now, before going to the mines, though, let's just... Oh, who's this? Hold on. Who's this guy? Oh, jeez. Don't run away. Oh, what the... What on earth was that? Don't tell me, guys, in the comments, please. I, I want to discover this myself. <laughs> That was kind of scary, but it's kind of weird because I find the guy a cute, I think, because <laughs> he's small. Hey, what happened? Uh, it could be a shadow creature. I don't know. A monster or a ghost. Okay, I missed this place. So Elliot is asking for a gold bar. Wow. Okay, he's willing to pay 750 gold. All right, why not? And oh, cool. We have a fried mushroom from the dumpster and also a book. Hey, Mr. Gunter, I have something for you. Uh, we have this skeletal hand. This skeletal hand is bigger than usual. Could be a hand from a what? A giant? Do giants exist at all in this game? I don't think so, but in the Bible, giants do exist. <laughs> at first, I thought that uh, the Bible, holy bible is a boring book but you know what it's really awesome because there are giants dinosaurs uh there's even a battle there um against the giants giants are basically the enemy it's basically uh they're like an off offspring i think if i'm not mistaken of an angel and a human being yeah it, it it's there in ho in the holy bible all of it and uh 
comes from that is a giant anyway we're going to the mines guys when i read it i was like it reminds me that i was like l watching marvel heroes because uh there was a guy there one of the hero uh, um or the champion of the lord he he threw a spear on the enemy and one spear thrown and he like eliminated like a dozen uh enemies if you think of that man i, I was thinking of you know just fish a bit i was actually thinking of man how did this guy did it no one can do that in this age but he did it so i was thinking that at some level uh, there are some super humans at that time definitely stronger than us today <laughs> they even defeat giants right and also um there's a giant there enemy and uh according to the bible description uh the, the spear that the giant is using is like almost as tall as a door a large door if you imagine that <laughs> which is crazy and then i realized the bible is literally like marvel <laughs> it was fun although i know that most of the movies uh, actually everything in the world is somehow connected to the bible because you know it's creation right and we failed that fish it's 3 p.m uh why am I fishing? I love to fish while telling stories. That's why. But uh, let's just let go of this. It's a waste of time. Uh, let's head to the mines and uh, get some copper. So we could upgrade uh, one of our tools, which is... Uh, all right, we have a bone sword. All right, let's start uh, level uh, five. No, no, level one. All right, we're now level two. We're still looking for some coppers. I don't think there's copper here. We're right, going down to level three. All right, there you go. I think next time we'll start at level three. And also going back in our Bible story story um well i was actually uh it will, if you ask me if you're curious I, I i really literally forced myself to read the bible like i i have to force myself because i'm not used to it i'm used to playing video games which is truly uh, which is extremely engaging so i have to force myself and eventually uh i learned to really embrace it because you know there are things that you'll only know when reading a book in general especially the bible and it's fun looks like we have more copper here and uh one of the things that i read is about uh, the king david i think it was david sorry guys i'm really poor at names remembering birthdays so if i say something wrong just tell me in the comments but i'm pretty sure what i read about so oh well we need to eat uh, hey wait hold on i forgot to oh no i forgot to bring with us uh food okay it's okay we'll use the elevator so we are at level five okay so there's this kid i think that's what that's uh, king david is is the one i'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with it he's the one that actually uh killed uh, the one of the giants using only a slingshot and you know if 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 we think of it it's just nothing like it's it's only uh it doesn't have that kind of impact but if you really dig deeper into it imagine that using a slingshot against a giant and before before that even happened he he was tending to to his farm's sheep he was actually uh in charge to guarding the sheep and secretly he is defending the sheep against what what kind of creature it's not a dog it's not a wolf it's a ot lion <laughs> at what age like he was like uh, below 18 years old at that time and he's already fighting lions guys imagine that wow i just just <laughs> even now when i'm telling the story i I've, i'm having a goosebumps like that thing really happened like the things that we see in the movies like there's a superhero and he's a child and he's strong it really happened in the bible which is totally crazy so the thing is before he killed the giant he was trained first by killing at the lion to protect his people his flock the sheep his people and when he grew up when he, the time came he was ready and killed the giant with a slingshot <laughs> he was not even wearing any armor whatsoever oh man this is totally crazy right and even non-christians it doesn't re really require that you have to be a christian to enjoy the bible you can you can read it like it's a you can read it as a history book because it's real it really happened just you know just for info just to to know the history from other cultures specifically that it is inspired by the one true god it's definitely a start oh now it's like 12 a.m yay we got like 21 copper and uh, three coal and uh, we have 
52 or 58 uh, stone and uh, five slime. Awesome. Oh, geez, it's now 1 a.m. Mm, we have mayos here. Haha. <laughs> okay, let's see what we could sell. Oh, four golden mayonnaise. Looks like our chickens are so happy. And then uh, this crystal fruit, holly, and uh, we have a perch, golden perch. This is going straight to our golden chest. Alrighty, we have copper, go uh, copper bar coming right up tomorrow okay what a day for more videos you can click at the lower left hand corner of your screen thank you so much for hanging out if you're new feel free to like and subscribe and uh as always may we walk with patience and kindness because that is what love is see you in the next video